Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, I'm gonna guide you how to apply a short stay visa for Netherlands, Dutch, right? It's a very popular tourist destination. So, and also it's a Schengen country. So when you apply for Schengen visa, you get access to 26 countries, those who come under that. But yes, there are certain rules. First of all, like you need to find out like uh, if you really need a visa because sometimes you need sometimes you don't need based on your nationality like if you are for example if a Canadian wants to visit to the Netherlands it's not required right but if uh, some Indian want to do they do need it and then uh, you need to apply for this Schengen visa but there are certain rules if like if you are visiting more than one Schengen countries then you need to apply to the embassy or consulate uh, where like um, uh, to the country where your main uh, purpose of travel if your like uh, main purpose of travel is same for more than one country where you then you need to submit to the country where you are gonna stay the longest and uh, if you are gonna spend equal time in uh, these country multiple countries then uh, apply to the country where you are gonna uh, visit first so this is uh, very important for you to know so we'll go through the process process is almost same like uh, for the countries like uh, your physical location for example you could be an Indian national living in Canada so that doesn't mean you don't need this visa you still need this visa but uh, the process is gonna be like you first fill online form then you either apply through VFS global or you apply to, to their consulate in Ottawa similar things happen in India also like where you apply through VFS or through the consulate so this is just an example but the step of like applying where you fill the form is uh, like important so uh, choose your country so which one you want me to choose okay I, I, I choose India all right let's go for India So you need to fill, uh, complete, uh, submit a complete and signed visa application form. Okay. Consent form not in applicable uh, in every case. Passport photos. And now. Now, now in India what you can do VFS Global in New Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Delhi, Chennai, Jalandhar, Ahmedabad or Hyderabad. Okay, they have so many centers. So in India they have not given uh, or have they given the name? We use the service of Okay, so they haven't given the option of directly submitting at the consulate. Instead they are going through VFS in India. Okay, in Canada they you can also submit at Ottawa. Fine, it depends upon countries. So that's fine. So we'll go for visa application form. So, the very first thing is to create an account if this is first time. So, let's see how we can create uh, an account on the Netherlands uh, Consular Services site, okay, for visa application. Okay, I don't know why the first thing did not open. Alright, so the process is, I have already done it before but I will guide you. You need to put the email address, send code to my email address. It will send a 6 or 7 digit code. You need to put that and then click on continue. So that's what I am going to do. So after you put the code, you have a button verify code and then you click on continue, you come to this page. So first is email address that I have scrolled up to protect my privacy. Next is like password, repeat password and your name. So you can see the criteria for password. So I am going to do this. Next comes the phone verification. It can be verified either on text message or automated call. So you select. I am selecting Canada. Whatever is applicable in your case. If you are doing from India, do it from India. Like if you have an Indian phone number, do it from India. Alright. I am going to do it next step. So now my phone number is verified and I am in my account. On top we have like uh, name, account number and I mean name, uh, account email and account phone number that's why I have sc uh, scrolled here now we can go for the applications ok so now I am in my application area I have this option so I am going to click fill out the application form 
now here country of application is uh, important you can see where you currently reside in okay so if you are international living in Canada you must select Canada so whatever is that so now I'm gonna click on next so now next to personal details very simple details so I'm gonna just put the details and then if you have any doubt on something click on this What I put whatever is applicable in your case all right next again it continues and again simple details I, I have put sample details okay in whole form I have put sample details and these details do not belong to any real person I uh, who's part of this video okay next was contact so it had got my uh, phone number and email and I, ju I just had to confirm that now it is asking for the address again I am going to put some sample then it is asking this do you hold the nationality I said no what was applicable so I select this for example I am going to put some sample but you need to do as per your case then detail about travel document again very simple it is asking information for EU, EA or Swiss citizen or UK or return I select no and I click on next occupation what should I select yeah why not this ah now employ employer details as well okay they ask all the details so I'm gonna put some sample okay journey details so let's say you're you're gonna just gonna visit Netherlands but again it's up to your situation so that's why I select this yes purpose of journey I just select tourism if you want to put additional information you can travel dates okay I'll just put some sample select no for this but whatever is a your case type of visa number of entries you have so I'm just putting multiple member state of first entry which was I select Netherlands main destination I select Netherlands whatever is applicable in your case have you been invited to the not invited next staying at a hotel wow hotel information wow I'm again put we're gonna put some sample info it is asking visit on another visit will you visit on another I select no who is funding only me indicate the type of your support credit card cash travelers check prepaid accommodation fingerprints have a I select no whatever is applied in your case summary okay let me see okay now I click on if I click on next it will take me to the next page where I can submit that I'm not gonna do this is just sample and then you got to pay the visa fee and then you need to schedule the appointment based on the country so that's how it works guys and I hope you're gonna like this video please subscribe to the channel